Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Alpha, one of the strongest and most popular fighters in the game. In this video, I will also discuss how Alpha works in full details, which includes his passive, skills, builds, emblems, along with some tips and guide on how to use him in a match. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. Alpha has remained as one of the most popular and strongest fighters in the game. And recently, he even got a new collector skin in the game. And what makes him so special is that, he can deal true damage. So as always, in order to master Alpha, you must first understand how his passive and skills work. I will first explain how his first and second skill works, and after that, I will then explain his passive. So let's start with his first skill. With the help of his first skill, Alpha unleashes an energy wave in the target direction, dealing 100 physical damage to enemies in its path, and also slowing them by 40% for 1 second. This skill is your main source of poking the enemies, and this skill is also useful for catching enemies. Now, let's talk about his second skill. With the help of his second skill, Alpha swings his blade in the target direction, dealing 180 physical damage to enemies in a fan-shaped area, and each enemy hit with this skill will recover 40 HP. Meaning the more enemies you hit using this skill, the more HP you will recover. And remember, this is your bread and butter skill, as this is your main source of damage. So make sure to max out this skill first. And you can also use this skill while moving, so it's pretty useful as you can use this skill while chasing the enemies. Now, Let's talk about his passive. With the help of his passive, every time you hit an enemy with your skills, they will be marked by your passive beta. And you can see the passive mark above the enemy's health bar. And once the enemies have two marks of your passive, his passive beta will be summoned to shoot lasers at the enemies, dealing 80 true damage and briefly applying a powerful slow effect. His passive is the reason why Alpha is so deadly, his passive deals true damage, meaning it cannot be countered by defensive items. As true damage ignores all kinds of defense. And if you use your basic attack on an enemy with two passive marks, it will also trigger your passive beta, allowing you to deal more damage. So always make sure to use your basic attacks after using your skills, as it will increase the chances of triggering your passive beta, allowing you to deal more damage. Now. Let's talk about his ultimate skill. With the help of his ultimate, Alpha leaps into a target direction, dealing 150 physical damage, and the enemy's hit will also be stunned and slowed by 40% for 1 second. And your passive beta will shoot his laser 5 times in that area, dealing true damage to the enemies. This is your main skill for starting a fight, but other than that, you can also use this skill for escaping. And you can also drag the enemies using this skill. And when you use this skill, I'd recommend you to manually aim it instead of auto-tapping, as it is very easy to miss. And most of you will probably ask me about this combo. And to be honest, there's no specific combo with Alpha. But I'd recommend you to always use your ultimate to start a fight, as the true damage from his ultimate deals a lot of damage. Plus it will also allow you to immediately use your first and second skill while the enemy is stunned, giving you the upper hand in a fight. Now, let's talk about some fun facts about Alpha. Alpha was created in Baker Island by a scientist called Dr. Octavius, and he and Saber were created in the same laboratory by Dr. Octavius. And unlike Saber, Alpha is pure cyborg. And in the lore, his passive beta was known as his twin brother. And Alpha and Saber were like brothers in the old lore. But Saber eventually got tired of being used like a puppet by Dr. Octavius. And in the new lore, Saber betrayed Alpha. And now, both of them are sworn enemies. And Alpha's old design is based on the character Saizo from the game called Magic Rush. And if you didn't know, Magic Rush is also a game created by the developers of MLBV. Now, let's talk about his builds and emblems. For Alpha, it is recommended to go for items that will provide cooldown reduction and spell vamp. And for that, this is the best build for him. 
but I'd recommend you to use this build only when you're using him as the jungler. But if you want a little sustainability, then you can also go for this build. This build is the best build for Alpha in my opinion. And this is the build which I usually use as well. So I'd recommend you guys to go for this build, instead of going full damage. Now, let's talk about his emblems and talents. For his emblem, go for the fighter emblem. As the fighter emblem is the most suitable emblem for Alpha. And for his first talent, go for Thrill. Thrill will provide you with 16 adaptive attack. And for his second talent, go for Festival of Blood. Festival of Blood will provide you with 6% spell ban. And each kill and assist will also grant you an additional 0.5% spell ban. And for his core talent, go for Brave Smite. Brave Smite will restore 5% of your max HP every time you deal damage to the enemies using your skill. Now, let's talk about his gameplay and how to use him in a match. During the early game, make sure to unlock your second skill first, as your second skill is your main source of damage. And your main priority should be reaching level 4, and if you think you can win a 1 vs 1 fight against the enemy's fighter, then I'd recommend you to go for it. But if the enemy fighter is stronger than you, then I would recommend you to play it safe. And once the turtle spawns, you must also try helping your jungler take the turtle. So, your early game objectives should be farming, reaching level 4, helping your jungler take the turtle. Now, let's talk about his mid game. And if you're wondering about my build, then here it is. I know most people prefer going for full damage when using alpha, but in my opinion, the hybrid build is way better compared to full damage build. And if you didn't know, Endless Battle is like the core item for Alpha. It will enhance your basic attack whenever you cast your skills, and Alpha has a really low cooldown on his skills. So you can pretty much spam your skills and trigger the unique passive of Endless Battle. And that's why it's very important to use your basic attack after every skill cast. And during the mid-game, you should have at least one or two of your core items, depending on your farming efficiency. And during this stage, you can start rotating around the map and join the team fights. And your main priority during a team fight should be killing their mage and marksman, as they are the main damage dealers of the enemy's team. And aside from team fights, you must also push the turrets whenever possible, as pushing the turrets is the duty of the fighter and marksman. And make sure to always keep an eye on the mini map so that you can rotate according to the situation. And don't hesitate to use your ultimate, as all your skills have a low cooldown, so you should feel free and spam your skills. And remember, Alpha is weak against heroes like Cho, Benedetta, Kagura, and Lancelot. Alpha is pretty much weak against all heroes who have multiple dash abilities. Since your main damage comes from your passive, it's very important to hit the enemies with your skills, so that you'll be able to trigger the true damage. This is why heroes like Lancelot and Cho can easily fight against Alpha, as they have multiple dash abilities to dodge his skills. So always make sure to keep that in mind when using Alpha. So, your mid-game priorities should be rotating around the map, joining the teamfights, pushing the turrets, and helping your jungler take the turtle. Now, let's talk about his late game. During the late game, Alpha is one of the most feared fighter, as you can pretty much melt almost anyone at this point. And you must always stay with your team during the late game, and make sure to support your mage and marksman, since the enemies will be targeting them, so you must always try to protect your mage and marksman, as they are the main damage dealers of the team. And during the late game, you must always remember that timing and positioning is the key to winning. So always make sure to wait for the perfect opportunity before entering a fight. As one wrong move is all it takes for you to be sent back to base, and you must also keep an eye out for enemies that are split pushing, as split pushing is quite common during the late game. And if possible, always try to strike the backline of the enemies whenever there is a team fight. Because if you take down their mage and marksman, then you will easily be able to win the team fight. So always make sure to go for their mage and marksman. So, what do you think about Alpha? make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. And consider leaving a like on the video if you haven't. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. I make tutorials and informative videos about the game. Thank you for watching. 
You guys motivate me to make better videos.